So in this forest we stumbled across a little legend and it says they found this in the archives. And the story goes that there's two knights in the forest hunting and they got lost. And then they met an old man and they say, hey, who are you wandering through the forest at night? The old man says, I am the man of the night. Very uh, mystic. And then blah, 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 blah. The old man says he'll help them on one condition. If after he plants a tree and it'll become the biggest tree in the forest. And he has to plant it on full moon. It'll become the biggest tree of the forest. And so then he helps the knights. Something about beware of bad spirits. And then after the knights get free, one of the knights, what's his name? Rock of Foley or something, actually goes and plants the tree. And look what we found in the forest. Mama mia, look at the size of this tree. He actually planted it. Look how big this is. Comparative. There's a big old tree. Look at these branches. The branches was breaking on under their own weight. That's probably why they cut them. So, is it really legend? Yes. Such a big tree. <laughs> is it really a legend? It's a cement block down. Why is there a cement block? Maybe. Uh -huh. You think this is the tree of the legend? I think so. You think so? Yeah. The legendary oak tree of the nightman and the knights. Look at this chimney. What is this chimney doing? Why is it so long? Hey look, there's actually a sign about the chimney. This is some water pump place or something. Interesting. Yep. It doesn't matter the situation, the country, anything. This woman refuses to walk on the footpath. The footpath could be wide enough wider than the road, twice as wide as the road, but this woman will go out of her way to walk in the middle of the road. Yeah, it's nicer. I feel like a car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we saw a lady on, out in her garden and we asked if we could get some water and it turns out they're actually from England so I could talk to someone in English for the first time in a long time which was really nice and they're a really lovely couple gave us food, we talked for a long time they had also done lots of cool things and it was just another really lovely interaction mm -hmm. meeting more great people the living. on the road they're living off grid as well. Yeah, their house so is off grid, just with solar. Solar panels. Mm -hmm. So cool. And it's always the same scenario. You go to distant lands and distant countries to try and interact with new people and see new cultures. But then as soon as you see someone familiar, someone who speaks your language or someone from your country or somewhere close, right away you're drawn to them. You're like, oh, thank God, <laughs> someone I can communicate with. Always the same. What in God's name is going on here? What have we come across? The couple also said that they were robbed several times actually which you wouldn't expect out in the middle of nowhere in the countryside and they said all the people surrounding uh, 
blamed it on this one man for three reasons. Because he smoked weed, because he owned a goat, and because he was from Paris. These things make you a burglar. If you do any of these three things, or worse, all three, you're gonna get blamed for everything. You won't believe it, we actually found a shower. Look, here it is, it's really good. Look at this shower. Are you enjoying your refreshing shower, Captain? Yep, yep, yep. In this little stream, this two centimeter dip stream. <laughs> What do you need a big fancy washing machine and shower for? We've got a little stream right here. Why well, you need all the complicated things, huh? The region we're in is actually quite interesting. We're in the Berry region and they actually have their own language. Berry Shun. So they don't even speak French. They speak Berry Shun. They have their own language. How weird is that? I never thought of that. I never would have thought that they have their own little region. And also, this region is quite interesting because it's in the center. The buildings have not been blown up from all the different wars and such. So the buildings can get quite old here, 800 years, more, who knows. So there's many old buildings, a lot of old culture, even their own language. So it's quite an interesting region actually. So we got this pate, which is from this region, the Berry region. What did it say it was? Berry Chon pate yeah, or pate something? Berry Chon. Pate Berry yum, Chon. Yum, yum. It's pate with a little egg in there also. Yeah, and some dough. I don't know. How you, do you just take a bite? Yeah. How do you eat this? You're not getting any meat on that bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, yummy.